He hasn't put. He he he, he hasn't put out anything today. Nothing. He hasn't put out anything, huh? <laughs> What's up, people? Another beautiful day. Yep. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. We're excellent. What? What's up, what's up, Steam Deck fans? And you know, and you know, of course, it's eggnog, it's eggnog season, man. What's wrong with y'all? Mm-hmm. Gotta, gotta have you some eggnogs, man. Eggnogs in a Steam Deck. Oh, yeah. You know, it's Sunday, so what? You didn't think I was gonna put out anything? I was surveying the landscape. See what I can find. Okay? And I was gonna put something out. Yeah. On a Sunday. Yeah. Always gotta put something out. Anyway. Alright. What do I got for you peoples? Okay, Batman Arkham Knight. Stop, stop your squirming. <laughs> stop your squirming. Yeah. Batman Arkham Knight. Yeah. Yeah, this fella. Bruce Wayne. It's the car, right? Chicks love the car. <laughs> what? What? Say what? domain really <laughs> oh yeah Batman on the steam on the steam deck folks Batman Arkham Knight yeah and that and that is that is our scarecrow on the back remember him from Arkham Asylum yeah got a nice little score to settle with him eh, let me stop playing around here alright yeah now what I got for you folks <laughs> so you're messing with y'all. So this is what we got. Okay, Chris, talk to him. Okay, first things first. Lord of the Rings. <clears throat> Alright. Is Lord of the Rings uh, Return to Moria Steam Deck compatible? Well, the, the latest Middle Earth adventure is playable on the handheld. However, a lot of extra steps are required to get Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Uh, Lord of the Lord of the Rings Return to Moria to, re to run on the Steam Deck it means that you gotta have, it means that you gotta have Windows on it because uh, because it's on Epic not Steam okay and the same th and the same and the same thing that you have to do to get a uh, Fortnite Fortnite running on the Steam Deck the same thing with Lord of the Rings and. Let's see what, what are they talking here? Uh, is Lord of the Rings Return Return to Moria Steam Deck com, com, compatible? Yes. Lord of the Rings Return to Moria is playable on Steam Deck. However, Epic Game Store is required as the game is not available on Steam. So if you if you remember Epic and when they came out, especially when Fortnite <laughs> and they tried to attack the Linux players, remember that? All right. Yeah. You 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 get it. Anyway, now what else I got for you guys? Since we're talking about the Steam Deck here, for the Steam Deck fans, yep. Yeah. All right, all right, Chris, give them their news. They want it. All right, let's see here. Hmm. What's the what's the other one? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here's another game. Here's another game to add to your Steam Deck collection. This is from Games Radar. The article is pretty long. It says this chaotic gun tooting road like has me blasting violent seagulls and raising baby ax axo ax axo axo lot <laughs> whatever says the indie spotlight axo a is a k x a k space x o l o t axo lot is an amphibian amphibian amphibian. <laughs> Uh, shape, shape shooter, amphibian rogue, <laughs> amphibian shaped roguelike uh, with plenty of firepower. So this game is out on Steam. This game is out on Steam. So yeah, um, this is a pretty long little article that goes into it. 
So, uh, this game is out on Steam. It's called AK uh, Space X O L O T L. Yeah, that's the name of the game. It's on Steam. Yeah. And it's, and it's an indie shooter. Yeah. Alright, what else we got for you, little Steam Deck fans? You know, I gotta keep the ball moving here. No, not that. So what else we got here? Okay, okay. Lord of the Rings we got. Okay. Okay, alright. Let's see here. Uh, here's here's another one for you. It's on neowin.com. And this talks about uh, Seagate. Let's see, Seagate. Whoops, Seagate launches the Fire Cuda 520N internal SSD for Steam Deck. And other portable gaming PC. It says here, uh, the rise in popularity of port portable gaming PC like Valve Steam Deck, along with rivals like Asus ROG Ally and the new Lenovo Legion Go and the others have generated more interest in internal solid state drive that have the smaller 2230s, uh, have the smaller 2230 form factor. Microsoft Surface PC also used the smaller storage product as well. And it says here, uh, other PC storage companies have started launching new internal SSD with these smaller form factor to give consumer a way more to extend, expand the storage of these portable PCs. We have seen companies like Crosshair release products like its MP600 mini SSD and, uh, and, uh, and others like Sabrent. Team Group and Silicon Power have done the same thing. Most recently, Western Digital launched its first WD Black SSD uh, product in the 2230 form factor. It says uh, another major PC storage brand is joining the competition with its own smaller internal SSD. Seagate is expanding uh, lineup with with the newly announced Firecuda 20. 520 uh, in SSD. All right, and it comes in it comes in one terabyte and two terabyte uh, form factor. Uh, get out of here, you pop up. Okay, and it says here available in one terabyte and two terabyte capacity. The Fire Cuda 520N is a PCIe Gen 4 NVMe SSD designed for high performing handheld gaming device with high octane read write speeds of up to 5000 megabytes per second for the 2 terabyte capacity and up to 4800 megabytes per second for the 1 terabyte model the drive offer PCIe Gen 4 NVMe SSD performance of desktop gaming and it's backwards compatible with Gen 3 and Gen 2 PCIe slots so and they're going for, let's see, the one terabyte is going for $109.99. And the two terabyte version is priced at $189.99. Alright. And that's the story with these SSD. We're not done yet. We got one more. <laughs> we got one more. This from, um, let's see here. This is from uh, uh, eTechnics. Let's see, they had one here on um, the... SSDs for sale. All right, what do we got? And this is on Amazon, by the way. Okay, here, here, here's here here here's the de here's the deals. Hope you're ready. Hope you're all ready for it. All right, save a lot save a lot of money on M.2 2230 internal SSDs for your Steam Deck right now at Amazon. And then it says uh. Earlier this week, Seagate. Be earlier this week, Seagate became the latest major PC storage company to join the M.2 2230 internal SSD market. It launches. It launches the the Fire Cuda 520N SSD in that small form. Factors to help expand storage for portable PCs, in particular Valve Steam Deck. The one terabyte model is available for. $109.99 while the 2 terabyte version is priced at $189.99 however if you need to save some money and still get the expanded storage you need 
there are already some M.2 2230 internal SSDs that are discounted down to all time price low. That includes Crosshair MP600 Mini, 1 terabyte M.2 2230 SSD internal storage, internal SSD. <laughs> it's price just it's price at just $89.99 at Amazon. So that's the MP600, 1 terabyte, $89.99 at Amazon. Or at $20 off its $109 launch price. The Gen 4 SSD has read and write speeds that are 4,800 megabytes per second. All right, now, let me get this pop-up out the way. They always hit me with it. <laughs> All right, All right. let's see here. Here's another one. If you want something cheaper, the Silicon Power 1 terabyte UD90 M.2 2230 is priced down to only $68 dollars and 97 cents at Amazon. Its read speeds goes up to 4,900, 4, meaning 4,900 megabytes per second, but it's, it's, uh, it's, but its read speeds are a bit slower at 3,200 megabytes per second. <laughs> so it says, if you need more storage, there are also the deals on 2 terabyte M.2 2230 SSD products. Micron has a 2 terabyte model for $144.95 at Amazon. At the moment, with read speeds of 4,500 megabytes per second and write speeds of 4,000 megabytes per second. Alright, now Silicon Power has a 2 terabyte model price at $169.97 at Amazon. The read speeds goes up to 5,000 megabytes per second and its read speeds are at 32 megabytes per second and it says make sure you also browse through Amazon US New Egg US or Amazon UK to find some great tech deals also check out the deals section of our article to see if there's anything we've posted in the past few days that could be of interest all right so yeah there you go. Go to Amazon and get your SSDs. <laughs> now, what else I got for you guys? You little Steam Deck nerds. Alright, let's see here. What do, what do we have? What do we have? Eh, Starfield's still averaging 50,000 50, Steam player each day. Hey, 50,000 is good. Who's complaining? Anyway, <laughs> let's see here. Alright. Oh, yeah, gaming on Linux. Got some new servers for their website. Gaming on Linux got some new update update their servers on their website. So yeah, to, to keep up with the times, you know. So yeah, you got to do that in the world of video games. Okay, City Skyline um, is not Steam Deck compatible yet because va va because Valve it went through the process to get the compatibility checked off. So Valve is working on that. RoboCop, you can play uh you can play RoboCop uh. Rogue City on the Steam Deck. Yes, you can. Okay. All right. What what's 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 the next thing we got here? Let's see if we got anything new on the Steam Deck. <laughs> yeah. RoboCop Rogue City Steam Deck compatible. Yes, it is, and you can play it on your Steam Deck. Now, anything else going on, going around? Oh, speaking of which, whoops. Go back. Go back. Go back. And of course, at Amazon, you can get a, um, let's see here, uh, a one terabyte SanDisk uh, Extreme Micro SD, SDXC for $101.99. Or the five, or the SanDisk uh, 512 gig Extreme Micro SD card at $46.90. There. <laughs> Sitting here messing with y'all. Alright, what else we got for you little Steam Deck fans, you know? Got, got, got to keep the ball moving here. Got to, got to give, got to put something out for the Steam Deck fans. They want to know what's going on with their machines. So, and I'm here to help them. All right, now what else we got? Let's, okay. whoops, get out of there. Lords of the Fallen. Yeah, that's a good game. Okay. Skyrim, new Skyrim mods. Adds 
schools of necromancy uh, with over 30 spells. <laughs> Sky Skyrim gets for always get updates. The modding community is making sure of that. Battlefield 2042 has a Cyberpunk 2077 moment, keeping 100,000 players. Hey, when you up when you update your games, you get you get the results you're looking for. You know. Let's see. Stardew Valley meets Stray in this new cozy cozy life sim. Okay, what are they talking about here? With, that, with this cat on the picture. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Uh, Falcon. Oh, Falcon uh, Development just released Cattail. What? Cattails Wildwood, a story, a new life sim RPG that blends stray cats role playing with Stardew Valley cozy features. Oh yeah, oh those cat lovers, oh they they're gonna love this. Those those, those you know those 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 people out there that love their cats. <laughs> yeah, they're crazy about their cats. It says a uh, Cattail Wood story is one of my favorite games. Whoops, come back here. <laughs> Whoops. Has a trailer here too, so I will leave that. Oh yeah, uh, Robocop has a trailer. Uh, uh, I think a couple others too, so I'll leave all those trailers. Alright, say Cat's Tale, Cat Tales Wildwood Story is one of my favorite games ever. I backed the project as soon as it went up on Kickstarter and have been enjoying Falcon development sequel since its alpha stage. The indie developer has now fully released Wildwood Story on Steam. Allowing new fans to explore <laughs> to uh, to explore the series, wholesome gameplay. If you love playing as a cat and stray, or have spent countless cozy hours in Stardew Valley, then you should give Cat Tales a go. All right. Okay, and this says, uh, what's this? Um. Uh, while Cattail Wildwood Story just launched on Steam, the relaxing game has already racked, racked up exclusive positive reviews. You could say that it has only come out, but it, its predecessor is similar, well received, with a solid 10 out of 10 rating on Valve platform and thousands of overwhelmingly positive reviews. Just two developers make up the indie team itself. An adorable husband and wife duo. Woo! Only two people? Hey! <laughs> Says Falcom. Falcom development games play a lot like Star... Uh, like, plays a lot like Stardew Valley. If it's place you in the shoes of a rather... Pa or rather paws of a cat, you're able to date other cats in your colony. Ha! <laughs> Farm herbs, fight against other colonies, Expand your expand your land. Get married. Really, get married. <laughs> Says there. Uh, mine. Recruit other cats. If that if that sounds up your alley, you can grab Cat Tales Wild Woods story now for ten percent off. Just seventeen ninety nine. Fifteen oh seven directly via Steam. <laughs> yeah, this article this article has a video in it, so I'll leave it in there. Leave the link in the description box. So, yeah, and it says, it says a few of my favorite features in Wildwood Story have to do with the colony gameplay, running my own little, little group of cats on a path of land that I can customize to my likings from its grass color to its path. It's good fun. The game uh, den system is cool too, and you can decorate your home from the outside in whether you want sparkly furniture and more rooms or a new shape altogether must place uh, crystals everywhere <laughs> anyway that's it yeah I'll leave the link in the description the video the video trailer in the description box now that's all the news I got to report on the steam deck yeah on a Sunday yeah I had to survey the landscape and see what I can find and um, put it put it all together, but yeah, keep you guys up to date on what's going on with the Steam Deck. I went over to um, 
even to Pharonix website, see if I can find something. Yeah, I checked out Gaming on Linux. They just updated their servers, uh, so you know, um, so things should, they should, so their performance will be better now. Um, and um, they put some new security security update for the new servers that uh, that uh, Gaming on Linux is uh, getting. So yeah, uh, yeah, they uh, they're they're busy. Um, went on Steam DB. See if I can find anything. Uh, I was all over the place, just looking, see what I could come up with, and put it all together, and that's that. But other than that, the Steam Deck uh, moves on and lives on. Oh yeah, really good, really good playing on this thing. I need to stop the chemicals being loaded into the mixing chamber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nothing. We, 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 we can do this. No. I'm gone. <laughs> you can't catch me. Alright. <laughs> anyway, we're still playing around, but other than that, it's Sunday. Whatever I find, I can I help you guys with. But other than that, enjoy your Steam Deck. Enjoy your Sundays. And go get your eggnog. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Anyway, hope you people enjoy the video. Nice talking to you people again. Pretty still a Star Wars. I start to think. Bored. Dark side. I'm gone. Peace.